All right, I just wrapped up a street photography critique video, and I'm pretty sure that video is going to be going up after this one. But really quick, I wanted to do a video kind of in appreciation of my favorite point and shoot camera of all time. And I'm going to say it right now that this camera is probably not the most hyped camera out there. It's not a Contax or it's not the Nikon 35Ti. Uh, it's a camera, though, that at first I really did not like. If you're into rangefinder focusing, this might be your best friend. The XA is definitely a great camera, but just like all other things, it's not for everyone. When I first started shooting with it, I wasn't blown away with it at all, simply because, first of all, I wasn't used to how to shoot the camera, um, and I wasn't really a big fan of the viewfinder and kind of the focusing system, but little by little, as I shot more street photography, I learned to appreciate the system around it. Um, and not to mention the lens on this is goddamn sharp. And folks, that camera is the Olympus XA. Now, the Olympus XA is a small pocketable 35mm uh, camera, and it has a 35 2.8 lens. It has aperture priority from f2.8 all the way to f16. The shutter button is extremely silent. It has a front closing cover, and it has a winding knob, kind of like a disposable camera. Now, if you've never shot or heard of this camera before, you're probably thinking right now, this is a piece of shit. Because, I mean, who's gonna be impressed nowadays with a small plastic 35mm camera? The only people that really like this camera are the people that shoot it. So, if you've never gotten to shoot one of these cameras before, I highly recommend you guys do so. Now, the XA was the first camera in the line of the XA series. There's the XA, this one. There's the XA2, XA3, and XA4. The other three models, I believe, are zone-focused cameras, and this is the only one with a rangefinder. Now, part of the reason why I really like this camera is because of the short focusing throw. I mean, it goes from 2.8 feet all the way to infinity within like an inch of a focus throw here. Um, so that makes it really easy to focus while you're out there shooting. And if you're shooting this at like F16 and you pre-focus at like four feet, come on now, you're not gonna miss focus at all. The best part about this camera is that all of this fits inside of your pocket. But in all seriousness, this packs a big punch for the small size. I mean, it's smaller than the size of my hand. Um, and the lens is really ridiculously sharp for this type of camera. I mean, it's almost like you're carrying a Leica in your pocket. And I wouldn't say this is, you know, up par to a Leica lens quality glass. I've never shot Leica before, or Leica glass, I should say. Um, but, you know, just from the photos that I've seen people make with this, from the photos I've made with it, it has a really interesting character to it. And it has a very, very nice black and white rendering and color rendering. It's an amazing camera. But of course, there are a couple of downsides to this camera. One of those being the flash. The flash actually has to mount onto the camera off to the side. And when you have the flash attached to it, it's really big. And I mean, it can still be pocketable, but it's not gonna be comfortable. Uh, but with the flash on here, it still makes for a really good and usable setup. But again, you have to remove that and then put it back on whenever you wanna use it. Uh, the camera does take battery, so that's another thing as well. If you're not a fan of electronically controlled cameras, you know, that might be a turnoff for you simply because it does take two small little LR44 batteries, but you can buy those anywhere and I'm pretty sure it won't be too much of an issue. And I think probably the biggest downside to this camera is the ISO capabilities. The ISO on this camera is limited to 800 ISO being the highest film speed you can use in this camera and 25 ISO being the smallest. So you still have a really good range, but if you want to shoot like a 1600 ISO film or like the Kodak P3200 film, you know, it's not going to be able to reach that potential um, simply because, you know, it caps out at 800 ISO. Uh, a couple of hidden features on the bottom of the camera, you have a self timer you have a battery check, and then you also have a backlit option. So if you're shooting portraits of somebody and it's backlit and you wanna um, overexpose by, I think it's one and a half stops, if I'm not mistaken, um, you can use that little feature on the bottom simply by flipping the switch up. Uh, so yeah, that is the Olympus XA, you guys. I have a truly, I wanna say like a, a real love for this camera. Um, if you can find one in good condition, it's an extremely, extremely good camera. And not to mention, last but not least, before we go, dude, just check out how quiet this camera is.
I mean, it almost sounds like you're sparking a match. Like, that's literally the sound this camera makes when you fire it off. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in maybe picking up an Olympus XA, you know, definitely check the interwebs, eBay, and I mean, this camera is an absolutely beautiful killer camera and again that's the only reason why i want to make this video simply because i really like this damn thing and i'm probably not going to get rid of it so thank you guys for watching another king james video let me know if you guys have had any experience shooting this camera or if you guys want to see more videos on this camera if you're interested in something like that i'd love to know your thoughts comment down below and as always middle to gang oh shit